Hey tubes, how's she going? So you should see what I got. So I got some Deweys, quarter inch uh, female Deweys to hook up my Dewey to the Deweys. That's going to be awesome, eh? Should be able to reach the freaking uh, outlet Dewey on the tractor now. It's going to be super awesome. So anyways, let's get uh, Fred and these apart and Fred and these together and uh, we'll be all good to go. first. Oh, for freak's sake, stay there. I think I need to Teflon these. Hold on, tubes, I gotta get some tape stuff. Okay, there's a trick to doing this Teflon tapey stuff, right? And uh, what you want to do is hold the threaded thing in your left hand with the threads out to the right and uh, pull out your tapey stuff. Start on the top. So you see, I'm starting on the top of the threads and wind it around this way. So, what that does is when you wind on your, your Dewey, it doesn't unwind your Teflon. Just like that. Okay. Now, well, oily. Frig sakes. So, we have two. Teflon, this one too, so we'll hold it in our left hand and uh, start around the top. Give her a few good wraps. It's probably more than you need, but it's always better to put a little extra than not enough, right? And uh, get that started on there. Something like that. And then. This is the tricky part because I almost really need my little pipey wrench to uh, tighten these up, but uh, we'll just keep giving her here and she'll probably go good enough. I'll just hold this one. I think we're good. And we will tough on the end here. Oop. What's going on here? Oh, it screwed her up. Stupid thing, it's loose on the roll. <laughs> okay, so. Teflon out of it. And we'll just screw our end off after she drips out of it. Alright. Good. Super awesome. We're three feet long. Hopefully that's enough. Should be. It's like really close that I needed. So anyways, let's do the same the other one and uh, we'll get the hose wrap out. Okay, so we're going to put some of this hosey wrap stuff on it. Oops. And it's kind of like a sort of a seat belty sort of material -y kind of stuff. Uh, it's really good though. It protects your hoses and 
especially if you get one that's going to burst or something on you, it'll, uh, you know, save you from getting a blast of fluid in the face. So we got, uh, I think it was 50 feet of this stuff when we were over at Prince's Auto that one time, so we should be good. Find an end here now. Oh, I see what she's done here. Okay. So we're going to just uh, hopefully thread this on right up to uh, the cylinder there, and uh, be good to good to go. We got some uh, zip ties to go on to, kind of thing. So. This is the tricky part when you get to the end here. Stretch out the stuff maybe here a bit. Maybe it's back here. Where it gets fun. <laughs> that stretched right out. kinked up here for some reason. Yeah, maybe that'll help. We're almost there though, we only got about a foot left here. That's the tricky end right here, tubes. Seems to want to be twisting up on me and stuff for some reason. Well, what I'm going to do is just cut it off a little bit long. And that'll be close enough. Okay. Now let's see what we can finish up here.
like an inch more. Part of the problem is getting caught on that fitting in here, I think. There. Okay, let's get some wicked zip ties here. Wicked. Wicked. Wicked zippies. And we'll start in here, I guess. Get her zipped right under the thing there first. There's one. Now we need to. Uh, I guess we better fret on that other that other section here. It's gonna be even more fun. So. Let's try this one out. This one so far is actually going way a lot better. It's a bit yield. Anyways, I'll take that. Way a lot better. Now we gotta try to get in here though. No, oh, shouldn't have said nothing. Oh. Heck, that's going good. Oh, shouldn't have said nothing tubed. Oh, we freaking made her. Holy, that was a bit of a struggle, but uh, I don't know. It's just the cramped condition in here, too, I guess doesn't help. But now I got some of these great, big, huge, thick mother ones. And uh, we're going to attach the hose to the ram and then drive them to the back. And uh, that's what the idea was. Let me review myself here. Yeah, I think that's what it was. And then uh, we'll start attaching them together. And, uh, oh man, we'll do it right in here, too. Oh. few of these on I guess. Might as well. Come on. Something like that. Then some more of these black ones here. Start attaching them together. Yeah, that should work. And then I've got to run it through the channel -y thing up here too, but uh, I'll put a few more of these joiner ones here. Run those through first, I think. So, I guess we might as well. Whoa, look at ourselves. Oh, look out. Lots of stick. And uh, we'll put her back down for now, I guess. Get the uh, jack tire out of the way. And we'll run it up through that box thing here. Okay, I'm not really looking forward to this. <laughs> but, should be alright, I think. Oh, 
one and number two. Fighting an anaconda. Well, I think that's going to probably do it. Uh, should have enough there for it uh, to flex up and not rip those ties off, hopefully. Uh, and then up here, I don't know, I got her secured there a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll fire another one there, maybe, whoa, sorry tubes. Oh, there you go, or two there maybe. Like I say, she was secured there, so. Uh, and then it can just go up to the tractor from there, so. That should almost have, because it's going to get a lot of flexing and stuff like when the tractor's turning and stuff, and I wonder if it should have more of like a clamp, like a hose clamp or, or maybe nothing, I don't know. Maybe I'll just secure another one on here or something just to hold her from slipping back is more than what I'm wanting to think of, but uh, uh, yes, maybe, it's, maybe I'll do that. Well, I wasn't super happy with the last uh, shot there of the way it was laid out, so I tore it all apart again, redid it, so hopefully that's a little bit more better now, and we, of course we won't know until we get her, get her lifting, but uh, hopefully that doesn't drag the ground there. I don't know, but uh, I also uh, got the ends here all zippy tied it up, and uh, we'll have to figure out which one is the green on the tractor. On the green port, um, on the tractor here, there's different colors for the different ports. And uh, what I normally do is give that one a quick spray. So that one there is the green one. And I think that's the down one. The black one on the left is the up. And I usually give them a quick spray of some green paint or something just to, you know, be able to see on the end of what the heck you're doing and stuff. So you get them hooked up right when you, when you hook her up. So anyways, uh... I guess now we gotta put her down and try her, uh, make sure everything's gonna do its thing okay, and hopefully we got enough slack down in there. So, uh, one sec, too, we gotta unhook this other trailer. You know, Funeral City, so it's been going nuts. Gotta hook that, and then uh, we'll get this one in here and uh, back her in, hook her on, see if a hose is long enough, too. Holy, this should be by now, I think. But uh, anyhow, let's get at her, tubes. Okay, tubes, the moment of truth. Let's hook her up. Oh, neutral. Neutral. The moment of truth, too. The moment of truth. We're going to stop her there. And jump ourselves down here we'll get her slid up a wee bit more here oh, who made this thing it's way too heavy holy crap uh oh uh oh what the heck's going on there now oh hang on dude gotta figure something out here first well, I didn't notice her before but this thing slipped the dewey if you see this uh, hooky thing here it's supposed to be up above that uh, that pin there so I have to uh, I don't know if it was like that from new or I don't know I don't know if she's gonna go back up or we're gonna have to unloosen this uh, nut here a bit maybe and then uh, we have to redo her when we put her on the ball here you know because it's supposed to be tightened on and not be sloppy right so anyhow hang on tubes we'll see if we can fix that first holy okay so a little gesturing we're not too bad there and uh, gonna run these lines up and over the the back dewey here now and hopefully they're gonna fit whole tubes I think we're good I think we're good and this one up and over too holy frig and uh, I can't remember now which one goes where uh, 
Oh, that freaking hurt. Oh, that little stupid thing just jabbed right on my knee. Ugh. Hey! Anyhow, let's, uh, can't remember which one goes where, but whoops. Holy jumping. Oh, I know why. There, put that float. There we go. And uh, there we go. I think we're good. We're not going to get pinched anywhere. Uh, stupid cup. Actually, that's pretty decent. I'm thinking we should be good. Okay, okay let's try her. Virgin try tubes. I don't know, we better leave her idling. Just want to go slow at first just to make sure that all the hoses are going where they kind of should be and, uh, and everything's uh, going to be all right here. Nothing's going to get ripped off or torn down or ripped apart or nothing. So far, so good. I guess where that hose is sort of kinked there and going up is okay. So just kind of push. These are nearly up anyways. I think we're going to be good tubes. Holy. We are good tubes. I'm kind of, whoops, sorry. Did her again. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the thing that. Uh, she seems pretty good. It's all routing good and everything. So let's put her down and we'll uh, take her for a little test drive. Give her a bit more throttle. Sweet, let's go for a ride. Well, she's on tubes. Seems good. Let's have a better look here maybe. Everything seems to be good so far. Let's uh, give her some turn and then watch our hoses and stuff. Nothing's going to get pinched in here. Doesn't look too bad or nothing's going to get pulled. We're going to turn right sharp. Pretty much to the, to the wheelage. Looks good there. I'm happy with her. We'll get turned here and go left. <laughs> There's a bit pulling there. There's a bit pulling there, but I think if I, uh, whoops, maybe if I run the hoses on this side of that light, that would be better. Let's just back up and turn up here. Oh yeah, we're good now. We got lots of slop there. Freaking right. Well, let's try our dump. Still gotta work on the tailgate uh, release or do you know, but uh, we'll get the uh, the main part of her done and then the uh, freaking right, and uh, we'll get the uh, the big decals made up and stuff here. I gotta make a whole whack of John Deere stuff and you know, all that kind of stuff. But uh, let's give her the ultimate test. Let's head her up over the freaking bridge. Uh oh, <laughs> is this bridge gonna hold? It can't be any heavier than my other trailer. I've been over it before. Yeah, the other green trailer. We're giving our suspension a test too, I see. Holy. Okay, here we go. Tractor's on. Trailer's on. Whoa! Good Again. Mounting her a bit, but it's uh, pretty good. All right, let's get up the hill now. Oh, better put her in low range. Pretty heavy, you know. Oh, I think we're good, tubes. We're good. Check out the suspenders here, too, maybe. Yeah, they're pretty solid, I think. Pretty friggin' solid, tubes. Sweet. Well, let's get her parked up here, maybe, and then, uh... We'll get her ready for cutting decals, but I think I'm gonna do that in an R video. Won't be this video. Let's get her carved up here, and then I'm just gonna put her up. We'll leave her up. Stick a big deer on there. That'd be awesome. Big deer. Oh man, the tires are dirty now. That sucks. Oh well. Shut 
her down. Better break her. Okay. But anyways, let's just have a quick look at things here. Well, I'm thinking everything's good. Actually, that's where that's sitting is perfect. I'm almost thinking of tying her to there, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to leave her. It can uh, sort of flop and doppy around. It's not going to be on the ground, so that's pretty awesome. But uh, I think, uh, yeah, the fenders are a bit too high, but uh, oh well. She's a sport model. She's a sport model. But anyways, uh, freaking right. Wouldn't mind sticking up uh, maybe the deer rocks under here or something. Hey, so you won't see it until she's up kind of thing. So, but no leaks. That other one was leaking right in there. She seems good, so hope to keep an eye on that. But uh, anyhow, uh, I guess that's going to be her for today. Oh, we got something stuck on the paint. Oh, well, she's good. But uh, yeah, tubes, so friggin' right. She's looking good. So we just got to do uh, the decals, of course, and uh, do the uh, tailgate latchy thing. And I uh, haven't thought of a how I'm going to exactly attempt that yet, but uh, we'll figure that out. It'll be something like the other one where the cable will attach to the dewey there and then up, run along to like a carrier or something or something here. And then it's got to go here to another, like a pulley up to the front of the tractor thing there. So, but anyways, looking at this now though, it looks like I maybe should have just ran a weld all the way along there because doesn't that look actually kind of nice? That uh, shiny, nice weld looks nice with a paint on it, eh? But I should have chipped these off too, I guess, but oh well. And ground these off too, but oh well, that's all right. Adds weight to the freaking uh, the uh, payload, you know, so. But uh, I should have, I guess, probably welded her right all the way across. You know, it would have looked a lot nicer, but uh, oh well, she'll work. She's welded good and strong in the inside, you know, so there's lots there. And uh, I mean, the whole thing, except the front, I didn't really go too crazy because I wanted some drainages, but all along the sides is all done. So we're uh, even got a piece of wire in there. Oh well, looks like a fishing hook. But uh, freaking rank tubes, she looks awesome. So anyways, I think so, but uh, for a redneck welding. But anyways, uh, yeah, I guess that's her for today. And uh, once we get the decals on and stuff and um, uh, do that tailgate latch city thing, I guess we should, well, it doesn't have to be ready to till we try it, you know, but uh, we want to, uh, you know, try her out and make sure it's gonna lift now, but uh, lifts the box okay, but I don't know, if we put dirt in it, she may not lift. We'll have to wait and see. But anyways, tubes, that's her for today. So uh, you guys have a good freaking day and stuff, and uh, have a good day and stuff. And uh, the next uh, video or so, we'll probably get into uh, deckling this thing up here and uh, getting that uh, sort of you know going. And I ordered actually some things here. Somebody thought uh, maybe some end caps would be good, and I got some. Uh, the only place I could find them was on eBay, so hopefully they fit. But I got some two-inch caps that'll black caps that'll in there nice, you know. And then uh, some of these I might have to you know shave out or whatever a bit but uh, for so they'll fit but uh, for any of those caps you know like there's you know some there some there on the end there there's one you know we'll put that black cap on there and stuff sure look uh, freaking awesome so doesn't look like I'll be able to put one there where the hinge comes down though but that's okay most of the time that'll be all covered up anyhow so but uh, I think I got a bag of 21 of them so I should have enough so actually how many do we need one two three four five six Six, is that it? Seven, eight, eight. Oh, wait, nine. Oh, wait a minute. Start here again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten should do her. So that's all right. We've got some extras because we're probably going to lose the odd one, anyways. But uh, yeah. So, anyways, tubes. Uh, it's going to be a shame to put dirt in that, isn't it? Oh well. We're gonna do her. Friggin' right, tubes. Have a good one. Talk at you later. Holy frig, speak of the devil, and who should appear? Huh. <laughs> That's weird. Let's crack this open quick here, tubes. Here, I can get you in a good spot here. Not something like that. Take it back a bit. We're good. Okay. Yeah, that's weird, eh? There we go. The caps. Well, let's just take one up and see if we can find a hole there and try one out. So yeah, those are supposed to be a two inch, so hopefully uh, hopefully she fits. But uh, anyhow, let's go try one. Well, I don't know if that's gonna fit there all right. Oh, friggin' right. Tell me, that doesn't finish her off. Good suggestion, buddy. 
Holy, that looks awesome or way more awesomer than just nothing. So anyways, friggin' right. That's gonna be sweet. Seem to fit in there pretty good. It's not loose or nothing. Don't think I'll get it out without even wrecking it, so sweet. Freaking good suggestion, buddy.